Hi guys, this is Debbie from Debbie J's Crafting Corner and welcome to our fifth and final release of our collaboration with Mandy's Place. This week I'm going to be making some um, bottle cap charms. I'm typically a card maker so the last few weeks have been a little bit of a challenge while I try to come up with other ideas. So the first one I'm going to be making, I'm actually going to make two to give you a, a little bit of a, a demonstration there. First one I'm using this paper pack from um, Martha Stewart that I got last year. It had this one page that had these circle um, emblems I guess. To me it looks like it's probably for like potion bottles. So I'm going to use a one inch punch and center one of those um, right in the middle of that punch so I can get a circle around that. And of course I'm trying to position it perfect, but this is handmade, it's never perfect. And I decided that there wasn't, it wasn't going quite in the middle, so I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit too much of a perfectionist after I just said that nothing's perfect. There we go, that looks a little bit better. You can see the word poison is centered right in the middle of that punch. So just popping that out and then I'm taking one of these bottle these um, these bottle caps I got this for a first set at Joann's and then I ordered some online so these are really really cool you can if you get the regular bottle caps you can flatten those by putting them through your big shop machine or you can buy them already pre flattened I do like the way that the flattened ones look so I just punched out a hole to be able to hold the um, the clasp on the end and then and just got rid of the extra metal that popped up there. Don't want to hurt anybody's hands. And then I'm going to use some glossy accents to adhere everything. <clears throat> so I'm just putting a little bit of that on there and then putting, um, centering that punch that we just took out right in the middle. This is also a great use for your scraps because we've all got some, um, some papers that we really like but we've got little bits and pieces left over. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm also using a little more of the glossy accents to um, to glue the, uh, the mound on. These are um, self-adhesive, but I found that the, the adhesive on there really doesn't hold as well as I'd li like, so I'm using a little glossy accents on there. I'm just going to put that in there and then press it down to spread the glossy accents around real good. Okay, so now I'm going to take a jump ring and using two pliers of jewelry pliers, I'm going to twist it open. You do not open these, you know, straight out. You do have to twist them, otherwise the metal's going to break. So that's going to be twisted open there. And then I'm just adding a, a little lobster clasp to it and then putting it through that hole we punched earlier. And if I used a larger um, jump ring, it probably would have been easier to put it in there, but I really like the way that these little ones looked. So there we go. That one is all, all put together. I'm going to do a second one with um, a piece of scrap paper that I've got. Let me clean this up a little bit. Okay, so here's a piece of scrap paper that I've got from a paper pad that's got this really cool spider web. The page is basically a little bit too small for me to use for much of anything else. So I went ahead and punched out that circle. And then I've got a set of stickers that I picked up at Target from the Target Dollar Spot. Some of these are perfect size for this. The boo's a little bit too big. That ghost looks good. That pumpkin looks good. But I think I'm going to pick Eek instead. So just taking that off of the sticker sheet. Okay, and then just place that down on that spider web. Okay, so again, I'm going to take another one of the bottle caps and punch the hole in. And I mangled it a little bit there, but that's okay. It's still going to look good. Okay, 
and then just taking my glossy accent so I can adhere that circle down. And again, taking some of the glossy accents so that I can go, well, I'm actually going to try first here to see if I can get that, that bend to come out. Didn't really come out, but I still think that these turned out pretty cute. A little more of the glossy accents to hold the dome down. And I think I got the bottle caps and the domes originally. I got those over at Hobby Lobby. They do have sets of those in their jewelry area. And then I like doing this so much I went ahead and ordered a bunch online too. So I'm going to go ahead and use another one of those jump rings. And again, as I mentioned, you're going to want to twist that open. And then just putting that lobster clasp on there and then putting our little charm on there. And then just twist it closed. So there you go. That's all done. Um, I hope you enjoyed this series and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please um, like and share and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for dropping by. Thank you much and have a happy crafting day.